Hi guys, my name is Vinay Kumar. I'm back with another video. Today we are going to discuss about types of properties available in Boomi. In Boomi, we have four basic properties: document property, dynamic document property, process property, dynamic process property, and this and these properties can be set or get in three shapes: that is, set properties, map shape, or business rule shape. And this in this video, we are going to talk about the properties. In the other video, we'll discuss about the properties examples. So the document property. Document property contains runtime related information related to the document. Some properties are set and maintained automatically by the runtime engine and cannot be modified, such as inbound connector information like original source file or application response codes. And the other properties can be set by the process developer to specify things such as outbound connection information like destination files or remote directory. So we can set the file names for the connectors. We can set the file name for the connectors. We can, we can set the file names for the connectors or the directory based on the connection. You can give the information. Other thing we have is that uh, trading partner information or metadata information for this particular things and we it has an a fixed name and it, it works at the document level whereas dynamic document properties are the properties that our process developer can define use a temporary store additionally piece of information about given document and their essentially attribute values can be followed and the document through the execution and through the map shapes and these are as mentioned, these are at the document level, but we can give own names. And we have other two properties, that is process property and the dynamic process property. The, pro the process properties are the names of the global variables that can be used to assist the integration. And you can set the values at the beginning of a process and retrieve that in the different parts of the process in that we have two pro properties that is dynamic process property and then uh, and dynamic uh, process property and process property process properties can be used in the different uh, in the in the different processes it is in a component it can be re reused in the different processes whereas the pro dynamic process pro property is used within that particular process and we have persist option for the both the dynamic uh, process property and process property we'll discuss this persist option with example in the next video thanks for watching the video guys